Hello ladies and gentlemen, Rosie here, and I play Dead by Daylight, so you don't have to. Um, interesting topic today, based on the things that we kind of were going through on our last string, if anybody remembers the rants we had on Samantha Spirit, the uh, comp player from Oracle, back in the day, how she was cheating the entire time, and, you know, we, we talked about, I believe we talked about DBD comp a little bit in its entirety, uh, DBD Comp is something that I have a lot of videos up on this channel where I go into it and discuss it. There was one really big one that was clipped from a stream and then in various Scoot videos and things like that. We have kind of picked the idea apart. I even have a, my own rule set, which is very outdated, and I would change things about that now, obviously. Uh, but that we have some content on the channel that is relating to a potential Dead by Daylight competitive scene. And... And I don't, again, for for everyone who's, like, intermediate watcher, me, not religious watcher, me, maybe the first time you're seeing me, uh, it, it might be weird coming from me because I am, I, I am a kind of, a, I've, I've, I've been often told I'm a mini true talent, which, which I am, what, what's meta, what's high level, stuff like that, that, that's the kind of stuff we really need to care about and really need to focus on in Dead by Daylight in terms of getting this game back on track. And we, I, I was a one, a very, a big proponent of the MMR system. Obviously, the MMR system that is in the game now is not Patrick's. It is not the real one. It is not the one I supported or wanted in the game. Um, it, it has something to do with that cap, but but neither here nor there. Um, but, but again, this might be surprising coming from me, but I I am very anti DBD comp. I I believe the scene is illegitimate. I believe the scene is not real. I believe the scene is a joke, and you'll see that come out. A little bit here. The only reason that I am not jumping for joy, celebrating, and dancing, and being an absolute smartass is due to the nature of the reasons that this stuff is taking place. But I thought it was my kind. I know, I know, other people or other creators are reporting this. I thought I would at least give you guys some kind of update and my take on it, especially since you know I don't support this this fucking garbage. Um. Now again, I I I can't be the most I can't claim to be the most knowledgeable when it comes to this kinds of stuff, but from what I understand, here's kind of the gist here. We'll get to hens in a second, but basically, when I think about competitive scenes for video games, the first one that immediately comes to my mind all of the time is Super Smash Brothers because that is the one I was involved in. I was involved with competitive Smash through my late high school and throughout my college, and, and a little bit even into my... Uh, uh, master's degree, just, just kind of playing it. Now, again, I was never like, oh my god, I went to a fucking major or anything like that. You know, I, I did well at locals, and I, I would have been, had I been a more consistent, uh, attender, I would have been, uh, PR'd in the region, I 100% believe that, because I would beat pr players all the time. My problem was I wasn't really, I really, I was a consistent player. Uh, tournaments, again, this is ironic coming from me, tournaments overstimulate me, and I get, and I shut down real quick, and I'm not I'm not a big social social guy, so like tournaments can get loud, and it's something that like if I do a tournament, I like it, it's really funny. Like when I would go to tournaments, I would sleep a whole fucking lot the next day. So but but like so like that's the first one that comes to my mind. So that's the kind of the one I had the most knowledge of. Basically, tournaments for I, I consider tournaments like a, for, for Smash. They had things like Evo. They had things like Genesis. They had things like, uh, oh, there was another one. The one that HBox won. What was that? Was that Evo? That was Evo. I already said Evo. Evo, Genesis, Big House. There, there, there were many IRL majors that would that, that all of the top players would come to. They would, they would, you know, they would. I guess they have to pay to get in, or maybe, again, people are sponsored. They're part of these teams to go in, and then they play the tournaments. They're really big, lots of viewership in that, and they're playing for cash. They're playing for money, and that like, and that that's kind of how that's kind of how it was. And and these top players can make their living playing these games, right? Like that in my mind is an, an actual scene. Now I and I know there's things like Yu-Gi-Oh as well. Like Yu-Gi-Oh has a scene. I'm sure there. I know there's like a scene for like even things like Fortnite and NBA 2K, Madden, all this stuff. I don't know much about those scenes. Or anything like that. And Pokemon obviously has uh, VGC stuff like that. So like I I'm, I have a very I have a foundational understanding. But the one I know the most is Smash. But it's like when you're looking at Dead by Daylight's competitive scene and, and what it was. 
cop scene and how much of a fucking joke it was. Like, I, I like there's no IRL tournaments. There's no major. There's no. There's no nothing. There's no sponsorships involved. There's no advertising. There's no revenue. The stuff that kind of makes this stuff what it is, it's not there. If you want to see what competitive Dead by Daylight should look like, I got something for you to do. I want you to go to the search bar and I want you to type in Identity 5 Call of the Abyss 7 and I want you to watch it. Not all of it, obviously. There's like a tw- like there's there's multiple days and multiple streams from the tournament that took place this year over in China. In mainland China, it happens every year. Call of the Abyss. It is their super major that they have for Identity 5 every single year. It's Again, it's IRL. They're all, everyone comes in person. They play in person. They have this, these huge elaborate sets where all the survivors sit together and the hunter usually is propped up on some, uh, like, like right? It, 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 they make a big flashy showcase of the entire thing. And it's, it's an extravaganza. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. That is exactly what competitive Dead by Daylight should look like. But it doesn't because this is none of this stuff that these people have done is legitimate. It's not. And why is that? There, uh, a, a base, uh, a, the biggest reason that I've seen for this game is a joke for many reasons. There's, there's so many fucking reasons that we could get into. And I don't know how long I want to be here. I'm, I'll, I'll go ahead and talk about them just a little bit here. Uh, the very critical flaw, the thing that makes the scene an absolute impossibility is the map RNG. The fact that one map can spawn in differently for two different people is the critical flaw that makes this idea inherently not good. Some uh, One killer can walk in the map and have like 20 pallets, the other can have like, fifth, uh, like 12 to 15 pallets on the map. That is a huge disparity in who, has, who is going to win the game. You have no grounds to call the killer that won with 12 pallets better than the killer that tied with 20. Correct? This is map RNG. This is the inherent flaw. The fact that it doesn't matter if you gentlemen's to the same map or whatever map system that you use to pick the map where both killers, will, both teams of killers and survivors will presumably play on the same map, every single spawn will be different. Okay? I, 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 that is true for most maps in this game. I think Midwitch is preset. I think there's a very limited amount of maps that are, that are set. Nothing to where you could, like, do a tournament realistically, I, I don't think. Uh, so that's the first reason. Next, the killer's just not viable. If you, like, like, there's just not enough viable killers in this game to where you can realistically do that. Identity 5 has around 10 viable hunters. They have around 10. Correct? Now, that being said, you're gonna see thing. you're gonna see the opera singer over and over again because she's the best character in the game. You're gonna see her over and over again because obviously when these hunters are wanting to pick the best option available, they're going to be choosing Opera Singer for their first round in Koa 7 a majority of the time because she's the best killer in the game. What do you want them to do? Pick someone that's not the Opera Singer? That puts them at a disadvantage. So a lot of those first rounds look like Opera Singer over and over and over again. It's a good thing that Opera Singer is fun to watch and good. Like she's she's she is good entertainment. She is like it is fun to watch that character go off and be played. So she is a, a, an entertaining first round pick. Now again, after fucking forty eight hours of viewing, she might get a little old. That's not what I'm saying, but but like, it, but but the the point is there that even though like you won't see them, like you'll see hunters in round three great and other rounds get creative. Like not everyone's gonna use opera singer gamekeeper every single time. I saw I watched a bloody queen play today. I watched a breaking wheel who I love is my favorite character of the game have an epic comeback today. Uh clown was played. Clown, Joker, Smiley, whatever the fuck you want to call him. He was played uh like uh uh somebody played the hermit. Like a lot of the like the characters like characters get played. Like, it's not just you're never going to see them. Like, when Dead by Daylight, when we say it's only Nurse Blight and Spirit, it is only Nurse Blight and Spirit that can actually win. Twins can semi-do it. But in this, in, like, but like you do not have enough there. There is not enough meat on the bones on the killer end to create an actual healthy, realistic scene. There's not enough there. You need more of the roster viable, and since the devs aren't balancing the game right for you, you have no hope to actually help them get them influenced to actually make the changes necessary to actually start a competitive scene. That is another massive flaw. And then, of course, there's things like the rule sets, which are notoriously bad. If you go back to all the way things like Hexy's Best of the Best tournament, where, uh, where Ots got eliminated due to a technicality in the rule set, a very, very shit thing that made the entire scene look like a fucking joke. And was a clown show. And it was a clown show. 
So you got all these, all this fucking shit going on. Where like, there's so, again, there's so many other reasons we can keep going. I've had fights and fights with this with with uh, Toads, who was actually in the scene at one point on my server, and it, it, the whole thing is just a disaster. The whole thing is not legitimate. They're not right, and nothing. But everything that they are doing is a clown show over there. Add on specific bands and all this ridiculous happy horse shit. Right, it, it's all stupid. It's all this. It all. It, it's not legitimate. It's dead. It's ironically, this is what I used to say. Now that Vecna's in the game, I would often, I would always describe it as Dungeons and Dragons role playing because that's what it is. It's role playing. It's not a real scene. Identity Five corrects literally every issue. There is no map RNG in Identity Five. The about half the roster is viable in Identity Five. Uh, they have IRL venues and it, like everything just works over there. They do it the way it should be done. It's the way that they do it is perfect. And if you go watch a, any Call of the Abyss, not just Seven, any Call of the Abyss, you will see that what I'm saying is true. Like how, anybody that watches Call of the Abyss and then turns to what these people are doing in our in our game, like that's embarrassing. You should be embarrassed to even call this a competitive scene in the first place. It's a joke. But anyway. From what I understand, again, I can't claim to be the most knowledgeable on all this material, but from what I understand, there is, there was several different leagues of Dead by Daylight comp gaming. Right? Yeah. Uh -huh. there, were, there were several different Dead by Daylight leagues, okay? These are not ran by any organization. They're ran or, or a professional thing. Like, there's, no, there's nothing here. These are not ran by professional organizations or anything like that. This, these are ran by just simple gamers who want to have DBD comp. On one hand, fine. You want to do tournaments? That's like, I don't care. Like, I don't care that you want to do tournaments. I don't. I remember when uh, there was a Smash mod back in college called Super Smash Bros. Infinite. One time, as a joke, we all ran a Smash Bros. Infinite bracket. At when we were all having a sleepover, we ran a fucking bracket for that Smash mod. That was uh, that was a joke, and it was ridiculous. But it was fun to like create a rule set for it and and and, and have the fun. Like it was a fun night. It was a fun experience. It, it's not something where you're gonna throw down five thousand dollars and play Smash Infinite because the, the the mod is a horrendous dumpster fire and it's a joke. It was a funny mod where there was like Sasuke and and fucking. Naruto, and Goku, and Silver the Hedgehog, Shadow, Taboo, like, all these fucking characters. I think Pyramid Head was even in the game. But, like, it, it, like, like, it was just, uh, he might have been a skin for somebody else, though. But, like, the mod was just such a colossal joke that it was like, let's run it as a bracket, as for funsies, right? So, it's not that it's like, like, if you want to have your, I've never had a problem with anybody going, I want to have a tournament for fun. Sure, go right ahead. Have a blast. It like it's it, like it's not it's not that. It's it, it, it I think it had more to do with the mindset of the player base that that plays DVD comp that would really get under not only my skin but the entire community's skin because this is something where me and the community are pretty much in alignment on that this scene is a joke. Uh they there was a there was a, a massive arrogance in 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 the comp scene player base. Where they would, they legitimately think that they are better than you, that they like they are much better at the game than you are, and that they shame you for playing pubs and beating pubs. Like like they would call you and me not good killers because all we do is go and beat pubs, right? That's what they like. Like from what I understand, from what from what I understand from from Toads' experience, they wouldn't do pubs back in rank based matchmaking. Some of those comp players were like rank thirteen because they would never play pubs. They would just do like comp comp scrimmages and comp this and comp that. They would get on with the same people every day, run the same two killers over and over again. And you know what? It's like I can't tell you how to play the game, but it's like you're gonna come in and downgrade not only me but the entire community because we're not doing that. Because I want to go take Freddy into a pub match and see what I can get out of him. I want to take a ghost face into a pub match and see what I can get out of him. And, like, you're going to shame me and how, and like, I've been shamed before that by these people for my takes on the game. Where it's like, again, one of the things me and Toads would fight about was, was save the best for last. Where Toads would say save the best for last is a garbage perk. It's like, no, it's not a garbage perk. You're just on Nurse Blight and Spirit all the time. You don't know what M1 Killer goes through. It's not a bad perk. And obviously it was too good and ended up getting nerfed, right? 
not to say that people can't have like insights like again toads I disagree with him about forced penance, and then I, I I saw the light on that. So it's like we can disagree and have discussions about the game. It's 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 that like when when like the comp fan base comes in, it's like they 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 think you suck because you're not with them all the time. Like that's where where, where the kind of the issues would come in. And I, I my there was one point where if anyone is a real OG, they will remember the time that our Discord server was raided by these people. I think Toads let a few of his buddies in. French Fry was the arrogant fuck that I remember. But they were all just arrogant fucks. They weren't nice. They were a bunch of cocksuckers. They were dicks. I don't know how old they were. Didn't ask. Because, again, the age is, is relevant. We'll bring that up as it comes to. But, like, they were just dicks and not nice. That, that Like, it didn't matter how. They were cocksuckers. Not nice. Not approachable. Not They couldn't have any conversations with them about anything. They were, they were all trash. They came in with the mindset that they are superior to you and that you're you're down here, they're up there. That's that's kind of the mindset that that they have. Right? That and and again, you I know I know that I definitely don't come across as very nice in some of these videos. Uh, I, I don't mean to pull the curtain back a little bit here, but I do play it up for comedic effect. Maybe if you find it funny, maybe you don't, doesn't matter. I don't mean to pull the curtain back up here, but if you see me on my streams, and when I'm not ranting on the character select screen, if you see me in the matches, I'm much more like this, where I'm kind of just talking, right? Like, But, so like, again, if you can accuse me and say I'm a dick, I know I'm a dick too, but I guess, but that's, that's kind of not important here. But just for OGs of the server, you will know that we were once raided by these people, okay? And so I, 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 that has left uh, that, again that that left a bad taste in my mouth, and it left I know it didn't would sit well with a lot of other people either. Thankfully, I had I believe AQ actually had to reinvent our entire system to actually get rid of these people, because they would just keep raiding over and over and over again, and AQ had to like completely revamp the way that we we handle things and revamp our whole security just to get rid of these motherfuckers because we did we don't like comp dbd so they were raiding our server like a bunch of children but again that's in a minute so there's a bunch of these leagues around but again we got off topic there's a bunch of these leagues from my understanding so basically they formed this this thing called the comp alliance let me swap over here well yeah they formed this thing called the comp alliance okay basically this was their honest attempt to create some kind of uh centralized community of dbd comp if this makes any sense at all because there's no organization that runs anything this was their best attempt a bunch of comp leagues from around like just around like that have different rule sets i'm sure they all kind of came together and formed one comp league for the one, one alliance of various scenes to where if you were caught cheating or something which that's a joke in and of itself because these people defended stretched res for so long but if you were caught cheating or doing various other things that you got banned from one league you were banned from all the leagues it's kind of like dead by daylight comp nato if that makes any sense a war on one is a war on all pretty much if you hurt one and were banned from one, you were banned from the entire organization. Does that make any sense? That's that's kind of what this is. And um, basically, um, the issue with this inherently, again, is that this, as I keep saying, this is not a real organization. This is illegitimate. This is fake. This is Dungeons and Dragons role playing. It's great that they were all able to come together like that and form some, something a little bit more centralized. It's good that they were able to do that. That definitely prolonged the scene's life. However, um, what what it all boils down to is that this is still not a real organization. It's just players and pl it's just players governing other players. This isn't a body. Like this isn't like a Team Liquid or a Cloud Nine that does actual sponsorships. This is, these are just players governing other players. And this is why you saw things like, again, this is like where Samantha got away with cheating on Oracle for so long. I have a feeling those two are related because they were very bad at actually cheat checking and, and all this all this stuff. OK, now, obviously, this was this. So like this is this is this system is is odd. And you combine that with the fact that a lot of the people that actually give a fuck about this stuff are very young. And then, again, that's no shame. Like they're children. They're minors. Like that's no shame. I was growing up again. Like I said, I played I played competitive Smash Brothers 
when I was in high school all the way to up until the end of my college days. So I, I probably started playing competitive Smash when I was 13, 14 years old. That's when I got really into it. And I was like, I know who Mewtwo King is. I know who Hungrybox is. I know who Mango is. I know who Zero is. I know who Nairo is. I know I know all of the players. I know who they play. I know this. I know that. I If you recall on this channel, I have a few low-quality games posted. I actually, my MMR in Smash Ultimate was high enough to where I matched Hungrybox and beat him with not even my main. Now, Hungrybox is not, he doesn't main ultimate anyway, but, like, that was still really cool for me. I've also played, uh, Esam. I played his Zero Suit Samus and lost, and, and uh, but, like, it was a fairly close game. Like, I'm, so, like, now obviously Esam doesn't play Zero Suit. Had he played Pikachu, he probably would have whooped my ass. But it's, like, the fact that I'm matching with these people, like, I know these people. Okay, like I, I, like I know them. I'm, I, I'm involved in the scene. I know them. Again, I knew everybody around my local area. I, re I still remember some of them. Doorstop was very good. He was from my area. He played Zero Suit Samus and Pokemon Trainer. Like I, like and and he was. I, I don't think I ever beat him. I came very close to beating Dark Shad in Smash. Well, I, I'm going into all this because like I, I understand wanting to be a part of something like this. So, so like there is no shame in that these these are are are, are very young people. They're minors. They're 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 fourteen to eight, fourteen to seventeen years old. A lot of these people, um, but and uh, but the what what, what kind of happened here is the, today, as you can see, Hens, who is a major organizer of DBD tournaments, I believe he's actually a consultant with Behavior now for balancing. Which again, I'm not going to get into any of my disagreements with with his f philosophy on balance here. He is a major organizer of these Dead by Daylight tournaments, and he is it's announced today on Twitter that he is leaving the scene and stepping back. Um, and he's come to accept that the reality is different and not everything that you more try, blah, 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 blah. He posts that. I'm sure you've read this 25 times as I've been talking. So there's not, um, there's nothing to like, there's nothing that I, I even have to even say about it. And then of course that was followed up a little bit later by the DVD comp alliance officially disbanding according to, uh, these are all posted to my discord. So I, hope these are real <laughs> but uh yeah but, but apparently the dbd comp alliance has also disbanded which puts an end to the centralized focus of what dbd comp is and so that or that that the closest thing they had to an actual organization a core that is also gone now obviously it's a joke to, again to compare something like this to team liquid or cloud nine is an absolute joke like this isn't real this isn't a real competitive organization. However, it was the closest thing that they had to it, and it is now gone. And uh, and then, of course, the, the, the reason for that is, I, I don't, again, I don't know. I don't know anything. All I know is there have been accusations of stuff that I'm not really going to get into. There was a document about it, and it, it very, very uh, groomer-type stuff. And again, I don't like, again, the, this is not, I, I'm not going to just p pile on DVD comp. This shit happens everywhere. Unfortunately, as unfortunate as that sounds, I, 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 I know multiple scandals just in Smash Brothers where shit like that has, uh, where shit like this has occurred. This is all terrible. It all shouldn't happen ever, but it does. So that is that. And I'm not going to read it. I just want you to know it's there. And that's kind of the shit there and again due to the seriousness of that situation that is why we are not dancing on dead by daylight comps grave like i wish this uh, again you never want to see anything like that happen ever uh but um and again it, it, it unfortunately is way more common than it should be it shouldn't happen ever but alas for some reason this is that's the cruel fucked up world that we live in where it does happen more than it should but it sounds like that Dead by Daylight comp is pretty much dead. It is pretty much uh, what the takeaway here is from all this. But the official organization disbanding and uh, Hens pulling back, who I have sympathy for as he put his name on this kind of shit. So like Hens, like if you if, like if you don't if you're mad at Hens for leaving DVD comp due to something like this, you really can't be. The man cannot have his name anywhere near what is going on right now based on these accusations. He can't do that. He is absolutely right to get the hell out and stop associating with them. 
because the scene is apparently way worse than we thought it was for a variety of reasons. Now again, I don't want to I don't want to know anything else about it because I, I I thankfully have stayed out of it. But what I do know is like you have you create a very troubling environment almost where you have these these again you smashes again, this is not just dvd comp this is an issue that transcends game this is an issue that again unfortunately transcends game you have an issue where uh, where like grown adults and children share the same space where it's like they both play the same game whether that be dead by daylight smash brothers fortnite injustice anything you have a, you have a space where 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 this stuff can unfortunately take place and happen and it's just a stupid situation, and it's awful, and, and and it shouldn't ever happen once again. But again, Hens cannot be seen with this anymore. It's time for him to move on anyway. He is a bigger name than what he created, and it's time for him to stop doing it anyway. So this is the right career move for him to do anyway, to get out of DVD comp anyway. But it sounds like this has poked a hole in the boat, and the entire ship is going to start sinking. And... and I, I, it's not something I feel bad about. I don't. I, I wish we were here under better circumstances, to where we could be a little more jokey and poke more fun at them. But it, it, it sounds like it's actually dead. And again, I'm sure people will have tournaments and, and, and stuff. But it sounds like the 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 concept as a whole, uh, a massive hole was poked in the boat, and now it's going to start sinking from here on out. So it sounds like this is a dying concept. And it's definitely for the best. It is definitely for the best that DVD comp, this scene, is is dead. And um, due to the... Just, just because they had such a, a weird philosophy on, on, on like, balance and shit. Uh, from, a, from a pure DVD perspective, it's, it's good that it, it is dead. I must make that clear. Again, I don't want anything I say here to be taken out of context because we are talking about something more serious. But, like, in terms of just DVD, I do believe it is a good thing that these guys are dead. And because for them to have hijacked the high-level market and claim that they are the good players and they are the best players, it's good that they're not here anymore. Because we, because, because, because as long as the only legitimate game mode that Behavior Interactive puts out is one versus four, and yes, even two versus eight, whatever be whatever behavior decides is legitimate is the legitimate game. That is the legitimate game, and of course you can have your rule sets and, and shit, and it's it's a fine and hunky dory. But like, if we want to get some of the stuff in the actual game fix, you have to. Uh, actually deal with that problem from within the actual game itself that that has always been my my take and uh, so I, I have no sympathies for this group and because of the nature of their arrogance again it couldn't have happened to a nicer group of people if you catch my drift so no sympathy from me there of course the victims of anything that may have happened to have my sympathy of course but uh yeah so not definitely not a not a fun day so I I know this was a little different, and I know we uh, did not probably weren't dancing as much as a lot of people thought we would be dancing, but I I feel like this was definitely newsworthy and definitely should get reported to you guys. So I did it. I hope I get a cookie from you. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all I gotta say, lads. I'm getting the hell out of here. GGS.